Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby. Show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word, constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him. Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth.
Ortho box to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence? Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! And Crypto, do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the Cortex Scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pa- The little brains! Moo? Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. They eat with their mouths? Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. We Furons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis, Crypto. Target an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground! Perfect! Oh. Superb! Curse these creatures! Crypto! Mmm, Martha! You didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner? Wait a minute! That ain't steak! That's... Holy Mother... Martha! Give me the shotgun! This looks like a job for the Zapomatic! Fry that farmer! Ah! Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. Consume the brainstem and collect the Furon DNA. Harold, come on back! You gotta see this. They got a talking horse on the TV. I ain't never seen nothing like. Ah! Little green spaceman! Ah! I am not green. Merciless! Let none survive! What am I? A horseshoe? Good work, Crypto! Hey, 
evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green spaceman! What is that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big old crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. Ooh, the furonity. Vaporize them, Crypto! My radar shows more human dimension. Get in your flying saucer and annihilate everything in your path! Take a spin in your circuit, Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting! Destroy all buildings! Leave no trace! Bomb those monkeys back to the Stone Age! Good as gold! Joe McCarthy's good as gold! Oh, great! The human military industrial complex! We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence! Exterminate them! Now! Open fire! Crypto! I hereby give you official permission to destroy all! More to the north in the bushes. Replenish your saucer shields by draining any human vehicle. Superb! The humans are making a final push. Wipe them out once and for all! Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right, good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate. 
due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Crypto! I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human and lead it back to your ship for... questioning. Get the picture? Crypto! That human is aware of your presence. The more people become aware of you, the more chance that those human policemen and the military will come to investigate you and take you down. Don't forget to disguise yourself, Crypto. You're not exactly inconspicuous, you know. Now that you're sufficiently disguised, continue using the Cortex Scan to maintain the illusion. You wouldn't want to lose concentration while surrounded by enemies. Every time I go in that barn, all I can think what I need is a farm hands union. Let's see Brando make a movie about that. Wonder what's for dinner. Oh yeah, beef. Again. I want a salad. Is that so wrong? I love a man in uniform. Oh wait, I am a man in uniform. <laughs> Now, if I could just find a cowboy, an Indian, and a construction worker, I could form that singing group down at the village. What would we call ourselves? The city people, the village folks, or something? What we need is the dumbest, weakest-willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. You just have to scan them all. Man, oh man, she may be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. And check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. This human seems to be onto something. Will wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. Nixon, is there anything he can't do? That Huffman should step aside for Tricky Dick. I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I gotta sit here hour after hour, day after day, watching this dying wheel go up and down, round and round, over and over again until somebody dies. Hell of a metaphor. Yes, yes! Like proteins from the primordial ooze, a pattern is emerging. Scan some more human minds, Crypto! Yeah, 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 town's doing great, business is booming, hope is on the way, yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this puppy so I can get down to the real business of governing. Making time with the delicious Miss Rockwell. Mr. Ed versus Francis the Talking Mule? Now that's a debate I'd like to see. I put a carrot on Mr. Ed myself. That's it. Two tabs max from now on. That guy told me it would help me talk to the aliens. I'm queen. Finally, I was going to flip my lid if Mama made me take one more slurp of cabbage soup. I want roast chicken. Mmm, chicken of the sea. Or was it by the sea? All right, Crypto. 
I have analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to... Probe and vaporize? No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. Implant a command on a puny human brain. Bend its will to our... I want to thank all the little people, but there's no time. Gotta go! What is it? You must have been my imagination. I guess it weren't nothing. Boy, I must really be losing it. Which way is the exit? Gosh, Uncle Stanley sure didn't seem like himself this morning. Maybe Enjoy the fair! Oh, and don't ride the mangler! It's a freaking death trap! Must keep going. Feet killing me. Damn pills. Wait! I left my purse in the tent. Direct animals, that is, uh, from one field to the next. I must go to the dark and mysterious woods. There's no reason to be afraid. Nothing bad ever happens to people who go into dark and mysterious woods. Especially not in fairy tales or slasher films. Not that I know what those are. No, nothing to worry about here. I don't remember parking here. Of course, I can't ever remember where I parked. My car seems bigger and rounder. And saucer shaped. Whoa, this is just like my dream. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. And lots of wavy hair like Libra. Wait a minute. Where am I? This sure doesn't look like the pie eating contest. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's happening? Oh, God, please, no. Oh, oh, it, it tickles. <laughs> it's probing time. Oh, yeah, right there, that's the spot. Oh, that is delicious. Never fails. Crypto, the authorities are on their way. Get in your saucer! Wreak havoc by using your saucer's abducto beam to levitate a creature or object. Crypto! Those nearby bovoids appear to have been genetically manipulated by the humans. But for what purpose? I want you to investigate this bizarre mutated species. Brains? Healthy green glow? 
Those human fools! Clearly they've genetically altered these pathetic gas bags and turned them into radioactive exploding zombie cows! Show them the folly of their mad science! Where did he come from? Never mind that! You must stop him before he publicly reveals your existence. Go to this town hall and take the alpha male's place to address the pea-brained masses! I know! I could crochet a portrait of President Huffman. I bet he'd be tickled pink by that! A restricted area. Crypto, the charming security of this town hall won't let you in without a jacket. Use Hollow Bob to keep standards up, will you? is already in progress. But before we deal with these pitchfork connoisseurs, we need to find the Alpha Man. I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm being all I can be. Keep it together, man. Keep it together. Evildoers are everywhere. It's him! The mayor! Now use Hypnoblast to distract the lackeys surrounding him. How the hell am I supposed to run in these shoes? Shiny, shiny shoes. Commissioner, he was assigned to protect me. Move along. Nothing to see here. Boy, oh, sure like saying that. What is it? Oh. Time to take the stage. Break a leg, Mayor Crypto. Assure them that everything is normal. No monkey business. That is, only monkey business as usual. The success of our mission depends on it. Now hurry, Crypto. The gathering will start soon. Beat that, Charles Atlas. Better get my best clothes on to go into town. Oh yeah, I ain't got no best clothes. I feel a sudden irresistible urge to wear pants and change my name to Ellie Mae. Every one of the dang cows, and then it looked like it stuck some sort of device up the poor thing. Crap, crap, and after all that, I didn't even get to see Miss Rockwell. She just walked right on by with her crops laid out flat in circles like a Fourth of July pinwheel. I told Edgar, there goes our savings, no new shoes for the twins, and I guess Darlene's just gonna have to live another year with that overbite. Greetings, fellow human agricultural engineers. There is nothing going on here. Everything is normal. 
Carry on with your pathetic human lives. That is all. Now, wait just a cotton-picking minute. Mr. Mayor, I've lived in this town all my life, and I voted for you twice in the last election. Now, I'm entitled to a god darn answer. If there ain't nothing going on here, how come all my cows is glowing like lightning bugs? What you say to that, whippersnapper? I don't know why, but it isn't from the death ray of a flying saucer, I can tell you that. You want to know what's been going on around here? I'll tell you what's been going on around here. Communism, that's what. As a matter of fact, this is a particularly good time of year for amateur astronomers. Venus is generally visible in the evening, and of course we have the uh, Leonid Media Shower coming up in a few weeks. Listen, you've been a great audience. Don't forget to tip the veal and try the waitresses. And if you like what you heard, throw me a bone and vote for me next election day. Early and often. Now wait just a second. How in the world does any of that explain the destruction at the fair? Read my lips. I will not rest until we find the perpetrators of the fairground carnage and uh, bring him to justice. Well, now, hold on. How come nobody in Santa Modeste has been seeing anything like this? Look, cows fart methane, and methane is flammable. We've got more cows than Santa Modesta. You do the math. So, as you can see, there's nothing to trouble your puny human brains about. The mayor's right. This was all just a random series of suspiciously coincidental yet easily rationalized events. Yeah, that's right. Give it up. Let's hear it for me. Suckers. Good night and uh, have a pleasure tomorrow. What a bunch of losers. Minds like mud. This planet is easy pickings. Crypto! Did you hear what that human said during your speech? Must have missed it. Busy digging on the love. Focus! There's another human hive nearby. Santa Modesta, he called it. You must discover its location and make your way there. We've got more humans to control. Sunny Santa Modesta. First up, I want you to find the alpha male of this town. Perhaps we can gain an insight into the way this whacked human social hierarchy functions. Crypto, the first thing you should do is take a human disguise. 
In this mission, it's vital you remain completely incognito. If your true form is seen by anyone, the mission will fail. might be able to tell you where the alpha male is located. Oh, there seems to be a human social ritual in progress. Perhaps you can discover what's going on by scanning them. Better move before that mayor gets any closer. That old lech thinks he can grab anything that tickles his fancy. A great guy. He must really love pool parties. That mayor sure is one heck of a public speaker. Shame about his short-term memory. Just keeps saying the same stuff over and over again. Hold on to your hats, boys. I'm going commando. Just because a couple of slack-jawed yokels have been drinking too much Rockwell moonshine, I'm supposed to hand over my civic authority? I paid good money for this office. This is my town. Those feds better steer clear. This mayor is pathetic. So is this pool party. It's time to trash the place! Constabulary. Be on your guard. You'll need a new weapon to handle the Santa Modesta police force. So I'm unlocking your disintegrator ray. Try it out on the fuzz. Nice shooting, Crypto. Excellent work, Crypto. Crypto! They don't look so tough. Looks can deceive. These urban humans are savvier, grittier, stringier. Harder to fool. Keep your eyes sharp and your wits sharper. Not in the open. Duck in here. Hold the frequency. Hit me. We're go for phase one. Our guys inside the station? Just waiting for the word. And the tape? In the briefcase. All queued up. Subliminal TV messages. What'll Majestic think of next? Search me. You know what a rhetorical question is? Not a clue. <sighs> Come on. Those black suits again. What's a majestic? I'm not certain, but it gives me an idea, Crypto. Wait, let me grab something to write with. 
If our plan is to succeed, simply reading human minds will be insufficient. We must control them. To ease the harvesting of their brain stems, grease the wheels, so to speak. Sounds like a gas. How do we do it? I believe your ebon garbed friends have provided us direction. Keep up with the black sedan! You're being outrun by a vehicle that can't even fly! <laughs> Communists! We're under attack! Help! Little green men! The men in black are getting away! and cut them off there. Bob, call the neighborhood watch! Martha, forget the black sedan! Stop those men in black from escaping! Hey, my name. Space freeze! Scanning the documents now. Crypto, this looks diabolical! The briefcase contains a reel of magnetic tape and orders to commence an experiment in human mind control. Alien. Apparently, a human scientist is waiting at the TV station for these orders. He's an expert on the human brain. His name is... Sleepy Ernst. I want you to go to the TV station and scan Sleepy Ernst. Schools, the human mind can be controlled by televised propaganda, and then I'll start my own cable news network. Ha ha! Where's the heck are those majestic agents? America ain't gonna brainwash itself. We cannot allow the human race to be sleepy Ernstus's experimental guinea pigs. They should be all guinea pigs. Destroy sleepy Ernst, Crypto. Stop that narcoleptic. Sort of psychokinetic phenomenon. I am sure of it. We crypto. Majestic intended to broadcast mind control signals to control their own people. By transmitting signals from this station, they hope to make the human population paranoid and aggressive. Well, more paranoid and aggressive. You're going. I suggest we beat Majestic at their own devious little game. We'll broadcast our own very special episode. A mind control transmission from the mothership. A few minor adjustments to those rooftop antennae should make them furon ready. I'm sure you can handle that. Damn it, I lost it. Crypto, here's the plan. We're going to use this television thingy ourselves to subjugate humanity to the indomitable will of the Furon Empire! <laughs>
<coughs> if you can bend the antennae in the direction of the mothership, they'll be in the perfect position to receive my Furon mind control transmissions. That's the good news. The bad news is, for complex and highly technical reasons, you have only a few minutes. If you cannot align the antennae, very bad things will happen. Let's not speak of it again. Can't now, I watch the news in peace? That Fidel was kind of making sense, but uh, no. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Here we go. Beginning transmission. Furon signal downlink successful. Oh, this is smashing. All right, I'm increasing the power. Wait! Crypto! The signal is too strong! Humans are weak! Their minds can't take that kind of amplitude! Quickly, Crypto! You've got to bend the antennae before they... Ooh, that has to hurt. Ew. Disgusting. Crypto? Crypto! Where did you go? Snack time. I want you to collect any brain stems that may have survived the signal broadcast. While you're collecting the overloaded brain stems, take a moment and extract some fresh brain stems from living humans, would you? Crypto! I'm granting you a license for a new weapon the Anal Probe. Now portable for more efficient brain stem collection. With the multifunctional anal probe, attract and collect any extracted brain stems floating about from a safe distance. But remember, no unlicensed uses. Read the warning label. Good work, Crypto! You just collected an overloaded brain stem. Only 11 more to go. Well, I know it sounds like a lot, but I think it's quite an achievable goal. Stems I'll be needing at the moment. Nice call. You have the right to Move over. My brain's thing mean nothing. Well, that's all the overloaded brain stems done. Investigate the activities of the human scientists. I want to establish their connection with the Majestic. That special seasoning has succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. These people are now rabid paranoiacs and incredibly hostile to anyone who's different. And as an unexpected side benefit, 78% of them are now registering Republican. Crypto, there's a frozen treats vehicle on its way here. But my analysis shows it's carrying warm-blooded humans. No, no, don't shoot. This is highly suspicious. Wait and scan whomever comes out first. 
I know I'm not supposed to eat from the diner, or I'll turn into a mindless paranoid drone, but that rhubarb pie is calling my name. Heinrich! Liebchen! Heinrich! More non-threatening vehicles full of scientists instead of ice cream? Scam the scientists once they step foot outside. Don't they live in their labs? The two sexiest words in the English language. Stocks and bonds. Ever since I was a small boy in Stuttgart, I dreamed of drugging the food supply of an entire population. Now, it's my job. <laughs> God, I love America. The psychotropic compounds in that shison turned our lab rats into a pack of paranoid junkies. Clearly the scientists are responsible for carrying out logistics population control schemes. Normally I'd ask you to destroy the scientists, but we have a bigger problem. Logistics are using the food outlets to distribute their population control drugs. And it seems to be working. If every human in this country turns paranoid and hostile, it will make life for us very difficult. They just took the diner, too. We gotta set up a line and hold them here. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not sitting around here waiting to get abducted. Keep your panties on, Mary. I just got a word over the radio. There's an army convoy right outside this town. With tanks. Thank God! Thank Majestic. Silhouette got the army to do something right for once. Take some cars and go get them. Try and stop me. If the scientists escape with the formula, our whole operation is at risk. Destroy those vehicles before they leave the peninsula. Well, one thing's for certain. Majestic are far more dangerous to our mission than I had heretofore suspected. I say it's high time we inducted one of these men in. Really, really dark brown. And gave him a good probing. What do you say? A brunt of fun. I think you're going to have to land your saucer and capture the agent on foot. How does he look like that in those shoes? What if the other guys notice? Oh, who cares? Lace feels so comfortable under this suit. Go to hell, Klaatu. You think I'm scared of a three-foot space hamster? I think you should be. Ugh. Now, we can do this easy, or we can do it hard. Your choice. What do you know about a down Furon scout ship? 
Oh, what? Sorry, let me put it in baby talk. A flying saucer crashed somewhere or uh, captured. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. What do you know about Majestic? I know we're gonna kick your little green ass all the way back to Mars. I'm not! These weapons, where are you making them? How many agents does Majestic have? How many other towns are you in? Son of a... Don't get mad. Get sadistic. I think this calls for the Jumbo Probe. Hurts, ah, 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 ah. don't it, monkey boy? You want it to stop, don't you? Then give Daddy what he needs. Mind control experiment. Rockwell movies. Furon DNA. Area 42. Uh -huh. Prepare to return to the mothership, Crypto. We're going back to Rockwell for the last time. In a second. Hold still, monkey boy. Let me chase. I'm sick and tired of this two-bit town. Nothing ever happens. No dancing, no rock and roll. Why, if it weren't for that juke joint down by the river, I'd never get my rocks off. You said a mouthful, Cupcake. There's a whole wide world out there, and we're missing it. But where can we go, Billy? This town's a one-way ticket for wild hearts like you and me. It's tearing me apart! What you need is a new direction. Exactly. A real purpose in life. Freaking A! Ever thought about homeland protection? Home what? Wise up, Romeo. There's a half a billion Reds who'd love nothing better than to rip that varsity sweater right off your back. No kidding. Take this little pamphlet. It'll tell you everything you need to know about protecting your little corner of the country from communist invasion. Thanks a million, Daddy-O! Freaking A! Wow. There goes a real American. A real American dreamboat? Meow. That's the last of them. Must have papered every JD in the stinking berg. And our little film strip? Spooled up and ready to go. The pimply projectionist is none the wiser. <laughs> Won't those kids be surprised when Abbott and Costello turn into Jimmy and Johnny Commie Killer in Real Six? Good work, Agent, and not a moment too soon. We need to be in Santa Modesta yesterday. Don't break for yellow, read me. Loud and clear. Sounded like Secret Agent Man was taking orders from the one in goggles. Want me to blow him up? Thank you, Crypto, but I have a better idea. See the plaza over there by the big screen? The humans drive their carbon combustion transports in, and thence view projected images for the purpose of entertainment! Makes perfect sense. I suggest we beat Majestic at their own devious little game. Hey! Ah! Leave my body! You're getting flashbacks to boot camp. <laughs> you little freak, stop it! Excellent! I've prepared a special film that I'm sure the audience will love. Be a good boy and pick it up. I'm on it.
sit back and enjoy the following educational presentation from the Mulan and... I'm letting you off the leash, Crypto. The time has come to escalate this little war against the Majestic. You will definitely be needing a more powerful weapon. Be very careful with this weapon, Crypto. It can hurt you as well if you get too close. Now it's time to cause this nasty organization some real damage! We seem to have put a dent into Majestic's mind control efforts, but they won't stay down for long. However, if we can harness the massive power of television... We could brainwash the whole country. We can easily transmit our signal on normal television frequencies. All we require is a suitable guise, a persona the humans will trust. <laughs> My research indicates one possibility. A human television presenter called Bert Wither. But he's made himself scarce. Perhaps he got wind of what you did to Sleepy Ernst. Forgive my impertinence, but you are an alien, are you not? How'd you guess? I knew it! I knew it! My prayers have been answered! On behalf of all the nations of the Earth, I welcome you to our planet, O oh friend from another world. Gee, thanks. Means a lot. Enough chit-chat! We need to find Bert Wither. Where is he, pathetic crackpot human? You want Bert Wither? You got him! Follow me! Perfect. Please, come with me! Follow that crackpot! Never mind that he's crazy, he's our only lead! They've got electric force fields around the perimeter. You can turn them off, though. Just shoot the machine. my notes on 11 dimensional super string theory, but don't tell anybody, okay? Scan me, 
scan me, scan me! You better stay low. They have gun turrets around the perimeter, too. A whole ton of them on the water side. Watch out for the EMP mines. They've got a bunch of those around the perimeter, too. The perimeter's pretty rough, actually. You can take a human form, can't you? You can get over there in disguise. Only one disguise will do, though. Boy, do I love Burt Wither. Even though he called me a crackpot in that TV interview, he said lukewarm fusion would never work, but it would, and I know it. If only I'd gotten the funny, but I didn't, thanks to Burt Wither. Bastard. I stashed Alien. stuff here, too. I'm just you can have anything here. you find. Get you bastards. spit on it. Scan me, scan me, scan me! Ah, break Silva. They've got electric force fields around the perimeter. You can turn them off, though. Just shoot the machine. You better stay low. They have gun turrets around the perimeter, too. A whole ton of them on the water side. Right. Hey, the cook at this diner takes food to Burt Wither. He's the only one who gets past the force field and the guards. If that crackpot scientist is correct, Burt Wither is under heavy guard. And only this cook is allowed near him. You should use this cook to reach Burt Wither. Watch out for the EMP mines. They've got a bunch of those around the perimeter, too. The perimeter's pretty rough, actually. Shiny new automobile? Check. Wife cooking meatloaf taking Valium? Check. Monotonous job as a filing clerk? Check. Unbridled inner rage hidden just... Sure is weird. Bert Wither all holed up in a damp cave. There's gotta be a funny story there. Be very careful. This area appears to be heavily fortified. That Burt Wither guy's gotta be around here somewhere. Man, walking past all those gun turrets scares the crap out of me. Lucky I brought a change of pants. Those stinking guards with their stupid questions. Obviously, I'm there to Just don't think about the fancy chef who got too close to those EMP mines. Talk about French toast. Good thing old Bert likes his TV dinners. Wonder if I ought to go hit somebody with my nightstick. Could be fun. Yeah, this is Carmine, the cook. I got a food delivery for Burt Weather. You want to turn off the force field? You know, Carmine, you look like death warmed over. What did I tell you about eating your own cooking? <laughs> I, I, I kid you. Oh, hold on a second. I'll let you in. A secret entrance. It's just delightful when the monkeys attempt to use their brains. Look at that darn impassable force field. How can they have all these fancy gadgets around the perimeter and- Where is the Salisbury steak for Mr. Wither? He's starving. In an underground base. Is it that Getting hard paid. to find it up the stairs on the second floor of the docks? Shouldn't have told Midge about this secret underground base, but she said yes to a double feature at the drive-in. Ring a ding ding. Please, don't hurt me. I'll do anything you say. I swear. You bet your ass you will. Come on, birdie boy. I got a little job for you.
The success of the broadcast depends on you, Crypto. You must protect those towering transmission towers! Each tower has a transmitter at its base. If the army want to stop the broadcast, they'll have to take out those transmitters first. Regiments two and four, form up at the main junction. One and three, take the flank. Attack waves, target the infrastructure. I want those comm towers out of commission. Support waves, your task is simple. Destroy the communist insurgents holding the television station. No beat-eating, vodka-swilling, Trotskyite son of a bitch is gonna hijack this great nation's God-given airways. Not on my watch. Charge! <laughs> Coming from the north! Tanks! Roll in the tanks! Show them some American steel! Those towers now! All units, attack! 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 We have only a few moments until the army destroys our building. They're deploying tanks and good lord, giant robots! Everyone is under fire! Let them have it, Crypto! Roaches! Marvelous! <laughs> now 
we should be able to discover what happened to Crypto-136. My scans have identified several radioactive areas in your vicinity. But there is one in particular that looks like it could be a crash site. I'm on it. Any of those baboons laid one hairy finger on me, I'll rip them a new asshole! This is where 136 hit the dirt all right. You found his ship? A few little pieces, most of it's gone. Recover any fuel on technology the humans may have found. And rescue Crypto 136. Monkeys probably hitched the ship to their donkeys the and dragged it back to shots. their mud village Jackasses. so they can worship it as a god. I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm being all I can be. If I don't get to shoot somebody soon, I'm gonna go out of my mind. And now if they send me into Cuba, bam, no more problem. That's all I'm saying. The more I think about it, communism isn't just an economic system, it's a will. A will to feel proletarian. Why won't those commies invade already? I want to shoot me some reds. You, human, raise the gate. Come on, I haven't got all day. Uh, no offense, but I got my orders. Now beat it. Let me through, or I'm gonna report you for falling asleep on duty. Yes, sir. Right away. Where could these humans have imprisoned Crypto One? I remember this one time. Find out if one of these the military monkeys knows put more. Put molasses in the V2 engine. Ah, what a mess! These Americans are no fun. My DI sure is a mean son of a gun. Watch where you're going. I'm so sick of guarding that stupid, shiny, round hunk of commie metal for those guys in the suits. I'd have a GI party with a toothbrush if I told the general to shut up and keep walking past that total UFO they make us guard. Those majestic guys, golly, their boss is the real head cheese. Discs are as real as the one crashed on this base. Majestic really is covering it all up. This majestic stronghold must be where they are holding Crypto 136. I really thought you'd be alive. 
Ah, oh, Crypto. Look what they've done to us. Laid us open like an animal. How could intelligent creatures do this? Okay, monkeys. You want a war? You've got a war. What? What did you find, Crypto? We're dead. An honorable death at the hands of an enemy in battle, that's one thing, Pops, but they... They desecrated us. And they're gonna pay. Oh, yes, they're gonna pay. end up like your predecessor. Return to the mothership. We'll use that data tape to... Are you kidding me? If it's the last thing I do, I'm gonna make them pay. Pay? Oh, we'll make them pay. Wait just a little longer. Just how destructive they can be. Bring me that data data tape at once. That's an order! The data tape you retrieved from the Human Research Lab has revealed a most disturbing development. They successfully unlocked the dormant psychic ability hidden deep in their primitive brains due to a dash of furon DNA. Infiltrate the research base and disable its defenses from within. Then you will destroy the entire area with your saucer. I know what you're thinking, ladies. And yes, I'm available. What have you found? They got mutants, all right. Here I am, brains the size of a planet, and I can't get lucky to save my life! I'm Dr. Oppenheimer, wearing the same bow tie as me, stupid Americans! Hmm, I wonder how much he paid for it. Favorite scientist. Favorite scientist. Hmm. Well, I sure wish I had wooden teeth like that Tycho Brahe. <laughs>
Okay. Humans using Furon powers. They're training these mutant humans for use in the battle against us. Destroy everything at their lab. Don't run into those waves of energy. Find a way over them. God does not play dice with the universe. He does, however, hit the blackjack tables. You want to play? Primitive Tesla coils. They'll zap you with energy when you're near. Tesla. Tesla. Catchy name. Man, I am good. How good? Mm, hey, so good. Where do humans get all these radioactive cows?
to cripple their military forces. I want you to infiltrate the main base and find out what the warlords are planning. Don't worry, Pox. I wiped out all the smart monkeys in the last attack. All they got left are a couple of hairy-knuckled alpha males who don't know thing one about intergalactic warfare. I mean, come on. Any planet without orbital ion cannons is just asking for it. Human warfare is astonishingly primitive, which is exactly what worries me. They're just advanced enough to blow themselves up at any moment. And if they do, our chance of reclaiming our genetic future goes up in a mushroom cloud. I'm gonna shoot somebody soon. I'm gonna go out of my mind. That would suck. Okay, I'll go scout the base and scan a few monkey brains. Try not to let them detect you this time. We don't need any more complications. And you know how jumpy these creatures can be. Hey, it's me. Good point. Try not to kill all of them! My D.I. sure is a mean son of a gun. Wait a minute, what if E equaled MC cubed? My god, I just saw the hole in my pants by looking around the curvature of space and time. Major Ford always randomly selects the shady south gate. Jeez, have a heart. It's the freaking desert. Major Ford gets to stand still in the shade, smoking like a chimney. Sport one of those cool hats. Martin was under the water tower talking about preeps, prues, and necklace. What a nerd. If I were a pigeon, I could see what those snazzy suits discuss with the general. And no one on the rooftop would be the wiser. Chain smoking and coffee will steady Higgs's nerves before the big showdown with Armquist in the main building. Sounds like your old nemesis Armquist is coming to town. This could be an opportunity for us to remove him from the picture once and for all. Sergeant Smith's getting reamed behind the wall <laughs> again. Guess he shouldn't have hula hoop with another fat dinner party. I have an office in the main building right next to Higgs's. If only Dottie hadn't burned Armquist's roast. The head warlord will emerge from the main building soon. I've gathered you should get a close look from a high vantage point. This ain't like WW2. Must keep smiling. Only three blocks till home and mother's little helper. All of this, Khaki, that... What the hell's wrong with Fuchsia? Isn't ready yet! The X-13 was working just fine in the trials last week! There have been a few, um, hiccups. Hiccups? Armquist is headed here right now to see this thing fly. Are you telling me it can't? We've had some setbacks. I'll give you a setback. I'm gonna bring your whole goddamn agency up on charges. This is gross incompetence. Save it. Why don't you show your guests the nuke instead? 
I didn't pay $40 million to see another goddamn nuclear test. I paid to see the best goddamn fighter plane ever built. Ah, screw it. I'm going down to Sector 13 myself and find out what the hell's going on. General. You don't need to go to Sector 13. The test flight will go ahead as planned. What? A second ago, you said the X-13 wouldn't fly. I said it wasn't ready, but it will be. Your demonstration will go on as scheduled. Trust us. We're the government. Crypto? It's high time we met the base's head warmonger. Go and probe the mind of the human called General Higgs. Without these eggheads, we could never finish the X-13 prototype. Gotta keep away from all these hazards just a little while longer. Without these scientists, the prototype won't function. I've marked the locations on your radar. We must eliminate them discreetly. Do try to avoid attracting attention. Subtlety ain't exactly my forte, Pond. Man, that guy stepped right on those mines. Just glad it wasn't An me. Army of one. Was the fourth one this week. I'm so lonely. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm being all I can be. Beg me to spare your life. You're going! Let's do this. Wonder if anybody'd notice if I went AWOL. What's got me into Bob? Last night makes twice in one month. What does he think I am? A machine? Let's get it on! Drop your weapon! Armquist is my hero. The brass always bust my chops, jackasses. Murphy is a pussy. Now Draw in the enemy, make some man. noise, and when they get close, destroy them all! Should do the trick. 
First, find the new X-13 these tin soldiers are building. More sneaking? Come on, Pox. I said sabotage. Go and destroy every human in that hangar. And destroy their equipment and their weapons. And keep the X-13 in one piece. Just make sure it won't fly anywhere. That's what I'm talking about. Make it good. We've had a breach. Small word for a big problem. Somebody got past the guards, snuck into Hangar 12 and wrecked the place. Our little gray visitor? Looks that way. Which means you didn't catch it. We came pretty close. Close doesn't count, Agent. The second it sets foot on base, I want it captured. And don't tell Armquist. We don't need any more help from the military. Call me when you've got it. Whatever you say. General Armquist, good of you to come. Thought you might be too busy running damage control out in California. Never too busy to watch the Air Force fall flat on its face, Jack. Corporal Patterson, let's show our guests what this bottle rocket can do. Vertical takeoff and landing! How do you like that? That's it? That's your ultimate weapon? Patterson! Get over there and tell McGillicuddy to get that bird in the air right this second, or he's going to be testing go-karts for the next 20 years! Forty million dollars for that? forces and destroy Armquist once and for all. Let me just load up the old disintegrator ray and I'll be off. No! Listen, Crypto. At this very moment, they are preparing a nuclear device for testing in a nearby weapons range. A nuclear device? Don't sweat it. That monkey's as good as dead.
hypnotize one of the humans and command him to drive the vehicle to the airfield. I fervently hope we never need to use this fearsome instrument of death. March here, march there, march it yourself, jerk off. Those humans want to disarm the bomb. Stop them! <laughs>
wind and get yourself out of the black radius! Quist. You want to explain to me why our troops are abandoning Area 42? They're not leaving, they're regrouping. Everything's under control. Really? So the airfield hasn't been destroyed by one of our own nukes? It's that commie spy from Santa Modesta. He got in somehow, messed with one of our experiments. Don't worry, I'll catch him. That's what you said in Santa Modesta. Frankly, General. I'm beginning to question your resolve. Oh, I'm resolved, all right. That explosion was meant to take me out. You're saying this communist spy has a personal vendetta against you? Maybe you don't get the mindset we're up against. No, no, General. I'm taking you very seriously. The President should hear this. Get back to Capital City. I don't take orders from you. In this matter, I speak for the President. You know that. Oh, majestic. on the structural integrity of the local architecture. I'm activating our latest F-800 drones to scan these hegemonic edifices. Let me guess. You need me to babysit the drones. Precisely. Hasta la vista, Crypto! It's like we traveled to a future where TV was in color, and they made a program about our happy days in Santa Modesta. That Marilyn, a playwright and a baseball player. <gasps> that little minx. Centerfold girls have all the fun. Oh, I wonder what my messy thinks about becoming beefsteaks in a supermarket someplace. You're mm. going steak. <laughs> One minute remaining. Keep calm. Oh, and who did it? I did it. Good work, Hector. Attention, citizen. new weapon for your saucer. The Quantum Deconstructor. It has a blast wave that destroys everything. Try it out on the commercial buildings of Santa Modesta. Them 
like roaches. Marvelous! You pathetic humans! Ah, uh, mind woozy, vision blurred, bladder bursting, must. Get to a lavatory. Oh, my aching cranium. Crypto, you moron. First step is admit you've got a problem. Please, please, tell me, tell me I'm alone. Oh, thank you. Great frontal lobes. But where in space am I? Looks like some kind of primitive laboratory, a, a cage, and humans. I'm being held against my will, and none the fun way. Uh, oh, they touched me. I feel so dirty. Okay, okay, that's it. I'm getting out of here now. Kinsey was right. I am a smoldering hotbed of sexuality under my cold, reserved exterior. I could take that guy, and that guy. Ooh, Crypto, you're still alive! Of course I'm a... Boy, there's a lot of weird crap going on around these docks lately. Not again, colorblind morons. Die, pea brain. Hey, where's the... What did you do with my clip, monkey boy? Phew. So much for wholesale carnage. I guess I'll just have to settle for ripping your limbs off one by one with my bare hands until I find it with my bare hands. What's the condition of your ship? No idea. The humans must have recovered your ship. Oh, that chili's gonna be repeating on me all night long. Why does Joe keep looking at me? He can't tell just by looking, can he? Be cool. A lot of grunts around lately. Couldn't be commies in Uniontown. Or could they? Good. This information will help lead us to your ship. Scan more workers. I hope Lorraine don't find out about I me. I detect the presence of a Furon jetpack nearby. You will need it in your search. Your ship went down on a nearby island. Excellent. Keep scanning workers. The hell's in all those army crates coming over from Monroe Island? Ain't nothing there but that old abandoned fort. Or is there?
Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. Oh, damn, I better not forget that password or they'll never let me on that barge. The human military industrial complex is apparently using a marine barge for surface transportation to and from the island. You may be able to use it to get to the island. I ain't taking you nowhere without proper authorization. Marilyn, will you take me to the island now? Now you're talking. Welcome aboard, soldier. Your ship must have crashed somewhere nearby, but be careful! The island must be positively crawling with human warriors! Put a sock in it, Jerry. I have a rifle. Her name is Sue. I don't get to shoot somebody soon, I'm gonna go out of my mind. Wonder if anybody'd notice if I went AWOL. The humans are moving your ship. You must find a way to release it. Something's wrong with this ship. I can't take off! The humans have removed the power cells from the ship's engine core. I've detected the radiation signature of the energy cells coming from a human marine transport vessel near your location. Curious! I was tracking Armquist in hopes of discovering his secret base. A 
But instead, he came here to a civilian facility known as the White House to meet with his leader, the President. I knew it. Armquist couldn't lead an army of ants. Cut to the part where I crashed the party. I wanted On to seek knees, out this cowboy. White House. Find out what sort of place it is, what defenses it has. And then destroy all the humans, gotcha. No, no! Stealth is our watchword. Just disguise yourself and make your way to the White House. To serve and protect, to serve and protect, to serve and protect, to swerve and defect, oh, to curve and perfect. Damn it, I lost it. Okay, I'm at the White House. Looks kind of like a palace. Big, stodgy, neoclassical plantation style. Hmm. I'm detecting a herd of human scientists exiting the White House. Perhaps they've just had an audience with this president. I want you to scan their minds. Ooh, that's a challenge. The challenge will be impersonating one. Read as many of their minds as you can. Crypto, you may have to make small talk. And conversation has never been your strong suit. I hate Kandinsky! German! Idiot Americans. A little art education is a dangerous thing. Blue Rider? <sighs> that Armquist picks some really stupid passwords. Follow this human. He said something about Armquist. <laughs> I remember this one time at Pennemund. Dr. Fritzenberger put molasses in the V2 engine. Ach, what a mess! These Americans are no fun. I've got it! The solution to Fermat's last theorem. It's... Oh, wait, wait. Ah, crap, I just had it. Crypto. I have detected military installations up ahead. Now that you have his password, persuade the guards to admit you inside. What would Marilyn do in a situation like this, other than take a lot of bennies? Crypto, don't start a firefight. The bridge ahead is heavily guarded. You'll have to sneak past. March here, march there, march it yourself, jerk off. The password is Blue Rider. Welcome to the Octagon, sir. The General's expecting you. Fairly certain, yes. Earthborn Emerald Germans. This ain't like WW2. Well, if you say so, you're Try to get near Armquist and see what you can learn. The more I think about it, communism isn't just an economic system, it's a will. A will to feel proletarian. Man, I feel like cracking some heads. You know, let off some steam.
Which is why the president has asked me to make some changes. Changes? Don't worry, General. You'll still be in command of our military forces. That much I've decided. You've decided? It's only logical. My organization has the skills, the specialists. But up to now, we've been a federal agency operating on a limited scale. This new threat, however, demands a radical new concept of national defense. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about a project for a new American century. The time has come to unite our five defense branches under a single chain of command. Five branches? Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Majestic, of course. You've got to be kidding me! It's the start of a whole new era, General. And the President would like you to deliver the good news. Are you out of your mind? You really think the Joint Chiefs will let Majestic swallow them whole without a fight? I think you better convince them to. And General, don't ever talk to me that way again. Yes, sir. So, huh? Majestic and the army getting it on. Hmm, I should have known. Those sly dogs. Bit cavalier about this, aren't you? Why the hell not? I don't think it makes any difference. I didn't clone you to think. And it may make a very big difference indeed. In any case, we have what we came for. Return to your saucer and report back to the mothership. No. The humans must not be as utterly moronic as we thought. Your scout ship has been discovered. Yeah, right. Pull the other one. It's true! Los hombres de negro! I'm moving to be take the sorceress to speak. Mission! Freeze! Dude, stop! What's going on? They've come to kick ass and to... Armquist is heading to a meeting with the other human warmongers. His orders are to unite them against us! No biggie. I'll just take him out. Yes, but that would still leave the others alive. Martyring Armquist will only stiffen their resolve. Oh well, I guess I'll have to do them too. Space Follow Armquist to that way. meeting. Guess it was nothing. It seems Majestic is using primitive listening devices to get a discreetly placed to spy on Armquist. We're not alone. Bending antenna to hinder Majestic. Crypto, your forethought surprises me. I won't stop you. Just don't let this stunt hold you up. I don't know. I just don't feel... where the warmongers are gathering for the tribal war council. Take the form of a human warmonger and infiltrate Armquist's meeting. Then, use your powers of persuasion to turn the others against him. Lift crate, move crate, stand on crate, destroy crate. That's no fun. Or paperwork. Uh. 
I don't get to shoot somebody soon, I'm gonna go out of my mind. What am I thinking? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. A lot of VIPs in that meeting. Must be something big going on. Armquist got more brass. Omar Bradley? Five stars? Are you kidding me? I mean, MacArthur, I can see. Martians. Oh, those Marines are right. The army is for pussies. Martians, Marxists, communistas, the big red machine. Oh, not again. Don't ask, don't tell. Works for me. Man, do I look good in all of drab. Don't ask, don't tell. Works for me. Crappy corned beef hash right about now. The brass always bust my chops, jackasses. The evidence is overwhelming. First, communist spies infiltrated a small country fair in the American heartland and kidnapped the winner of the beauty pageant, violating her corn-fed virtue in God only knows what unspeakable ways. When they were done with her, they destroyed the whole fairground. Civilian casualties were tragically high. Who cares what happens to the human female? That is none of our concern. By God, Armquist's right! We can't let an act like that go unchallenged! You've got my support, General! Last, a communist agent used an experimental nuclear explosive device in a direct attempt to assassinate me at Area 42! You know what they say, Armquist. Just because you're paranoid doesn't mean somebody's not out to get you. Ha ha ha. Are you kidding me? A nuclear attack on American soil? Those commies are a goddamn menace. Let's go get them! I don't know who the hell you are, General, but you got a big mouth. Son of a... You! How did you do that? Come and get me, you comet piece of crap! Okay, we'll do it your way. Eat hot plasma, monkeys! Let's get 
get it! Let's go! You cover has been thrown! You asked for it? You got it! You dirty rats! You're the rats who killed my bro- Huh? Your way's not very sportsmanlike. You can run, you little freak, but you can't hide! Who's hiding? Let's get funky. Crypto, haven't you learned anything about the humans? Now you have to take on Armquist, the Navy, and the Air Force. May our fooler be with you! to be this way, Armquist. Uh, what do... <coughs> what do you mean? I mean, this ridiculous war. We could have worked together, you and I, to forge a new future, a common future of peace and prosperity for our two peoples. Just put me out of my misery, will you? I'm serious. You... You didn't want to destroy us? Of course not. We were as scared of you as you were of us. Deep in our hearts, I think what we really wanted was to be just like you. Really? Really. I guess, at the end of the day, we really are all just human beings. Psych. Pathetic human. Monitoring the radio. This human wither says the president will appear before his subjects today. This president must be more integral to their social order than I suspected. I have noticed a significant increase in activity in front of the White House. Right on. Just tell me where he is and what he looks like. I. Uh, uh, uh. The mothership's tracking system is broken. I think he uses those convoys of long black vehicles for transit. You think? I can't exactly pinpoint the president from orbit, Crypto. It's not like he walks around with a big red arrow over his head. I need you to follow those vehicles so we can identify him. Scanning. Oh, look. Their vehicles use hydrocarbon combustion. How quaint. Crypto, try not to breathe. Hmm. Look out! It's an ambush! Circle the wagons! Throw me a shotgun! Get the women folk inside! Oh, I really must stop watching human television. Destroy them all! Basic stuff. Ah! 
double ambush. Uh, gotta hand it to those monkeys. That was pretty smooth. Crypto! The Wigger creature has just made another broadcast. He says the president will be appearing before his subjects in a short time. Clearly, he is a wily adversary, much more so than Armquist. And so you want me to disintegrate him mercilessly into a trillion teeny weeny bits? Roger that, big Kahuna. Excellent! You're learning. Hello, I'm Space Invaders. Huh? Hey, stay die. You're terminated. to take this lying down. But hey, you're a big clone now, right? You can take care of yourself. Find the bullet, freak. Crypto, the dudes in dark have found your saucer. I think they're planning to destroy it this time. I'm no expert in human explosives, but it looks to me like they're laying enough to breach the power cells. That could vaporize the entire city. Hurry, they're going to destroy your saucer. Oh, have they no regard for another being's property? You little freaks, stop it right now! Now that their president is dead, the human senators are voting for a new leader. The vote is agonizingly close. When the president dies, doesn't the vice president become president? Just shut up and kill those senators before they get inside the Capitol! Wake me up when the aliens land. Like... Ow, ow, the senator's brain must have ended. Analysis shows they've had a liquid lunch. Don't hesitate! Take that out! I'll pay you anything you want. Yes, yes, talk. But with a report, the voting was inconclusive. The leaderless humans will have no choice.
The humans have mass-produced a weapon that threatens our main invasion force! These Tesla coils are cheap, shoddy versions of the ones you met in Area 42. And you, my impulsive friend, are to destroy every Tesla coil unit in town. Interesting. Some are automated, but others require human operators. So what do I do with those? Simple. Each unit must be connected to a nearby control console. Destroy them all! I don't care how. So I'm taking out the Tesla coils and the control consoles? Once again, Crypto, you have crystallized the thrust of my gist entirely. Destroy those Tesla coils on foot, otherwise they'll disrupt your saucer! Electric defenses! Stuff up. Oh, the Furon Emperor will be most pleased. Yeah, it's uh, it's hard to believe. Silhouette will be meeting you there himself. Try not to gloat too much when you accept his surrender. Be sure, it's the least we can do. Well, domination awaits. Silhouette, I presume. You don't look like a general. You don't look like a little green man. Thank you. So, waving the white flag, huh? All the monkeys got together, scratched their heads, accepted the inevitable. That sense of humor. Just like your... Like my what? Uh, file. Your dossier, Crypto, said you were quite the Joker. I think I never told you my name. No, I suppose I have your brother to thank for that.
You're a chick? I'm a patriot. If you had to put up with politicians playing grab ass all day long, you'd wear a mask too. Me, I get my kicks the old-fashioned way, beating up bad monkeys. Funny, that's just what Crypto136 said. Of course, he was a real cut-up, too. Well, so much for Plan A. What's that? That, my gender-deprived friend, is Plan B. The end of your insidious invasion. A champion even you can't defeat. The greatest political mind of the 20th century in the greatest weapon ever built by man. Behold! The robo -prez. If elected, I promise to destroy all Furon! That is seriously messed up. Robo-Prez! Dirty tricks mode! Aw, oh, man. Now I'm gonna get my suit dirty. The smell of presidential brains in the morning. Just remember who set that giant potus of destruction upon you. Uh, right. You know who I mean. Oh, that silhouette guy, right? Uh, or chick. Could you do me a favor and not creep me out? Sure. In any case, he, I mean, she ran from the capital. I lost sight of him. Her. Silhouette. Near the... Attention, Furans. Attention, Furons! Is this thing on? Oh, whatever. I know you little gray freaks can hear this. I'm sure you're out there listening. Gloating. Pretty much, yeah. It seems only fair. Credit where credit is due. You did it. You beat my beautiful robo -prez. And now you're probably sitting around fantasizing about destroying all the humans. Typical. Sure you handled the boys, Armquist Hoffman. Oh, that was a challenge. <laughs> but everybody knows which sex is dominant on this planet. There's still plenty of time to get your asses handed to you. That is, if you're not too scared to fight a girl. No, no I'm not hung up on the whole pudenda thing. So come on, Crypto. Let's dance. I'll even let you lead. I'm at the Octagon. Don't keep me waiting.
You beat me. I can't believe you actually beat me. They never do. You know, you don't look so hot. Majestic. We'll never give up the struggle to resist you alien freaks. Struggle's over, babe. Furon's one human zipperoni. You think you won? You think America is the only human civilization on Earth? That's what all the Americans seem to think. At least the ones I scanned. Smug little insect. There are three billion people on this planet. And everywhere there are humans, there is Majestic. Sorry, doll face. Without you, Majestic's just a bunch of dudes in crappy black suits. Majestic. Empty. Twelve. The twelve. All over. All over the world. Attention, humans. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. Resist this. Good evening, my fellow Americans. In recent days, rumors have run rampant of flying saucers, alien invaders from other worlds, indeed, of my own demise. I'm speaking to you tonight to put these rumors to rest. The truth is, America has been attacked, not by little green men, but red. And our invaders are most definitely of this Earth. Despite the efforts of this administration, our nation has been infiltrated by communists, godless deviants who hate us for our freedom-loving way of life. Their conspiracy, details of which are only now coming to light, included drugging our water supplies and controlling our media via mind control. The result was mass hysteria, a national delusion which provided them the cover they needed to execute their fearful scheme. But your military and intelligence agencies fought back, and I'm proud to report that once again, America has emerged victorious. However, the price is dear. At this moment, millions of Americans are working hard and playing by the rules, unaware of the lingering toxic pollutants in their minds. To combat this lingering menace, we have set up testing centers across the nation, at shopping malls, local schools, even churches. The test is simple and painless. Why, our family had it just this morning, and I'm back at work. Doris is in the kitchen baking brownies, and little Billy's out playing tag in the rose garden right now. It's completely safe. So, trust your government. Trust your president. Freedom is on the march, my friends. Good night, and God bless America. Step inside, citizen. You sure this thing is safe? Step inside, citizen. Jeez Louise, I don't know. Hey, buddy, you heard the president. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Well, I guess a test couldn't hurt.
like shooting monkeys in a barrel. And so, the world breathes a sigh of relief. The threat of alien invasion proved a false alarm. As for those who scan the skies for a real visit from outer space, they may be in for a very long wait. Perhaps the lesson is that we should turn our gaze inward, remembering that man's worst enemy is often himself.